Can't get to fish if you're lying and in the water. Can't get to fish if you're lying and in the water. Well, if you're robbed on jig, you ain't got a chance. Make that old Mickey Finn dance. Can't get to fish if you're lying and in the water. Right, yeah, I'm not here again today. Uh, it's me and Nathan fishing today. Here, yeah, Nathan's just on float rod further down, and uh, we're carp fishing, and uh, we're up at Rusty Calm, so stay with us, see if we get some. Right, I'm trying to run you through the rig I'm using. I've got a bit of pepper army to a uh, a size 10 hook and uh, that is from Steve's Fishing Tackle UK dot com and uh, just some size 10 ups on and then I've got some 15 pound braid line and that's also from uh, it's I ordered it from Steve's Fishing Tackle UK it's some cat some catch carp uh, 15 15 pound camo brown then uh, that's just on onto a link swivel with a uh, <coughs> An easy, an easy clip, so uh, my weight can come off straight away if I'm fishing in weed or if uh, fish brings me into weed. So, because uh, I don't want to lose fish or have fish train that weight round, so that'll just fall off if it comes into weed. And uh, that's just onto some lead car. That's uh, 90 centimetres of lead car. Then I've just got a flying back lead. We've got a swivel clip attaching the lead car, and then I've just got a flying back lead. We're just a little little bead to stop it from going further down the line and that just shoots up line then when I cast out keeps all my line pinned down onto the bottom <laughs> so yeah they're my rigs so uh, I've had a couple out this morning on them so far so uh, hopefully I'll get some more and uh, get them back out there now and I'll show you my other rig Right, this is my other rig. Uh, I've got Pepe Army on this one as well, so the fish seem to like it in there. I've got a size size 10 curved shank hook from uh, Steve's Fishing Tackle UK on there. And uh, I'm testing all this tackle out for him, so uh, it's it's pretty good tackle. Uh, I've had a couple of fish this morning and I've not had one up pull and uh, every fish has been nailed with these hooks. Uh, they're really sharp. Uh, the the really good hooks. Uh, I managed to fasten different types of braid, different lines to them. They all, all work fine. <laughs> Seem to spin round perfect in the fish's mouth, and uh, got them all nailed in bottom bottom lip. And I've got 15 pound braid <laughs> braid hook link. Uh, that's also uh, see it's a soft hook link, and um, that's also from Steve's Fishing Tackle UK. He's provided all this tackle for me. And uh, I'm testing it all out from him, but uh, the company is Catch Carp, where it is actually from, and uh, it's Dino Tech. And uh, I've had army fish this morning on this, and uh, I've been getting everything on it. Uh, it's real good breaking strain, and seems to camouflage. It's camouflage is really good with it. Uh, all floor bottoms, and uh, I've just got that onto a normal. Yeah, I use this in most of my videos and most of my lakes I go to. Just a link swivel connecting that up, and I'm going to add a PVA bag onto that. And I've got a running link swivel with a weight on, and uh, that's just in case my line snaps. That weight can run away and fish is safe and uh, can get away from everything. So that's rig that's been do that. They're the two rigs that's been doing the business this morning. So just stay with us and see if we can get out else. Right, well, uh, when you're putting PVA bags on, uh, just get your baiting needle, put it near the bottom, just so it's away from the knots, not right in the bottom. Thread it all the way through, so it comes out of the other side. You can get proper baiting needles for doing this, but I just prefer to use normal baiting needles, so it comes through the sides, rather than at the tops and getting all the knots in, but if you're good just off of the knots, it's alright. And uh, 
and just get your hook link then. Put it on the top of your hook link. Just get it in. Close it up. Slide your PVA bag down. And then uh, when you get to your hook, pull your hook right in. So it's tucked right in tight into that PVA. And there you can see it's really in tight. And there's nothing that can get that hook, the shank, or the point of that hook tangled in any weed on the way down. So yeah, that's just how to tie up, put a PVA bag on. So uh, just a little tip showing you what to do there. Right, uh, we've had a couple of fish this morning, uh, lost lost probably the same amount as we've had. Uh, Nafe's just put a carp rod out now instead of he's changed off float and he's on carp rod, he's just had a knot and uh, hopefully that'll be a potential bite but uh, we've, we moved swims and we've just moved back up to this one and uh, we're getting quite a few out and I've just had one on uh, the lead car from Steve's Fishing Tackle UK and uh, all his lead car set up and uh, hooks and everything so it's looking pretty good and uh, Hopefully we should get quite a few more, so uh, stay with us and see if we can get out else. Right, it's about midday now, we're just cooking up as dinner. Uh, it's started raining, uh, we haven't had a fish for a, for a couple of hours. Uh, it's a bit slow, but uh, we're trying his best to get one. Just having some dinner and then we'll get his rods recasted out. So we'll uh, stay with us and see if we get out else. Right, uh, I'm just going to run you through uh, the ready car safety clip rigs here from... Uh, Steve's fishing tackle uk.com. Uh, he sent me these through to test for him. Uh, two two different types of like car, some ready car safety rig clips, and uh, there's one that's camo brown and one that's camo green. Uh, I'm, I've been using it today and I've been getting them all on camo brown, but uh, it it's a mud floor today, and uh, so it, it's camouflaging in pretty well. I've tried it in sides and it seems to be camouflaging in, so. Uh, yeah, have a look at Steve's Fishing Tackle UK dot com and uh, try and get try and get hold of some and uh, it's really good. Uh, Forty five pound breaking strain and uh, I've had them running to reeds today and I've managed to get them out with it. It's pretty strong, so uh, try and get hold of some of that if you can. It's pretty good stuff. Right, yeah, just a quick update. Uh, we've had another couple of, of bites. Uh, Nathan on float rod again. Uh, he lost one on top. Uh, I didn't get there quick enough with net, and uh, it snapped uckling. But uh, a bit unlucky, and this is starting to throw it down again now. So we, we can't get out else off top. And uh, I've just lost one in reeds. It it ran and took me straight into the reeds. I had no way of stopping it. So uh, it was a bit unlucky, but we've got all three rods pretty tight, baited area up. And uh, we seem to be getting quite a lot of bites and line bites and runs off it. So hopefully we should get quite a few now. So it's looking pretty good. So hopefully we should get a few. So stay away and see if we get out else. Right, these are the hooks I'm using today. Uh, from Steve, Steve's Fishing Tackle UK .com. I'm using size 10 barbless hooks. And uh, the cur Curve Shank, uh, they're doing all business today, getting me all my fish. Uh, I've not had any up pulls yet, and uh, they're all getting nailed perfectly in bottom lip. They weighted out perfect just to twist and get them in bottom lip every time. So get your send on stevesfishingtackle.com and get your send a pack of those those hooks. They're pretty cheap, uh, cost cost you know about less than a pound. Get your send some of them. Absolutely perfect, perfect for fishing. Right, Nave's well happy now. He's just had his personal best common carp, uh, weighed in at eight pound eight ounce. Uh, First fish today, a pretty nice carp, nothing up with it. It looked like it had never even been caught before. Uh, no, no, up. nothing in its mouth to show where any hooks have been in before. No damage to it whatsoever. It was pristine carp, uh, absolutely chuffed with his scent. So uh, 
got Rod back out, run in about five, six minutes and you hit Rod off, nearly pulled Rod in. And uh, it was a nice car, put up a good fight. Found it maybe 10, 15 minutes, pretty decent one. So he's got Rod back out and hopefully he'll get something else off that. So stay with us and see if we can get something else. I've got uh, some uh, Steve's Fishing Tackle UK.com's own brand sweet corn. It's pop up. Uh, I've got one pop up and one fake piece, and it just balances it out just enough to sit it close to the bottom. And then I've still got my, my same setup. Uh, I run through that earlier on in video. Uh, so if you need that again, just look at the beginning of the video, and I'll probably show you it next episode as well. So. Uh, just letting you know that I've swapped over to Sweet Corn, I've had a bream on it, missed the run and uh, had a carp on it, so that's what I'm fishing with now. So I've got to get that back out and hopefully get another one. Right, uh, we haven't had out for the last hour now, it's been pretty slow, but uh, temperature's dropping a bit now, so I uh, don't know how many, how many more we'll have. But uh, we've had quite a good day, we've had maybe 20 carp out between us and maybe 5 bream. Uh, Nave said his PBR, so it's been a good day. So uh, it looks it looks like we might have uh, another one or two before we go. got maybe 2 hours left, so hopefully we should have something decent out again. And uh, hopefully it'll pick up again in a bit and get some more out, but uh, just stay with us and see if we get out else. Right, it's going to our end of the day now, we've got about 45 minutes, an hour left. Uh, Nave's missed a run and uh, we've just been starting getting a few more bites so hopefully we'll get something else before the end of the day. But it's not been too bad a day, we've been getting we've been getting runs all day, getting bites all day. Apart from uh, when we first got it, we were a bit slow. All, all middle of the day we've been, been getting carp after carp and the end of the day has gone a bit slow again. But we've just had a couple of bites and Nave's missed a run so hopefully we'll get something else out. Uh, so I'll just keep watching and see if we get out else.